from orchard gateway it's a chinese restaurant ya you ya I can bring you there next time if you want not too bad ya ya it's a buffet [ah] ya ya one mark #bo# #bao# #ka# #liao# singapore should become the next hub for it can be financial hub or whichever hub or H_D_B hub or what which hub up to your imagination agree agree it can be your own opinion just now you mention about heritage I think singapore can be the next financial hub because right now we are in par with hong kong hong kong is actually being the first if I'm not wrong so we are we are it's a race [ah] it's a race between hong kong and singapore I see but ya we can be a smart nation you know ya no problem I think (err) my singapore dream is that (err) we will win the world cup in (err) twenty twenty two I think like what you mention ya I think that's a that's a dream ya and seeing singapore being the mediator for many countries ya example (err) like they like they can be the advisor for many things ya ya generation gap what's the biggest similarity differences between you between your generation and your parents' generation ya yes (mmhmm) ya agree
not seen in my parents' generation. Understand. Yeah. Okay. Next. What's your usual co- coffee shop order for coffee or tea? My uh, usual coffee shop order for kopi or that, I think it's taping. Yeah, taping. Yeah, I love taping. Yeah, same. Yeah, but not too much condensed milk. If not, I, I scared I will have diabetes. But, yeah. <laughs> diabetes? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say you will have like diarrhea because like no. milk is like, you know, oh, no, I like don't. those intolerance. Oh no, I usually don't get diarrhea so often. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not even cramps. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so like if you're afraid you get diabetes, so you like don't drink like coke or hydro plus. Cause you know like carbonated soft drinks, they have a lot of sugar in the in them. Like I think even more than like taping. Uh, I drink coke seldom. Hundred plus, yeah, yeah, yes, probably, but uh, yeah, I think I will try and limit myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ken, yeah. great. Okay. Yeah, great. Eat here or Taobao. What favorite hawker dish makes you lao <laughs> nua? Um, what favorite hawker dish? Oh, my favorite hawker dish is. My favorite hawker dish is minced meat noodles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I I like minced meat noodles a lot because like. No, it's like got mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the mushroom. Oh, nice. But like, I only eat like soup. Yeah. Yeah, like Drink some people... Soup, you mean? Yeah, like I only eat like the noodles with the soup. Oh, like, nice. I don't eat the dry noodles. Oh. And some people like, they love the dry noodles. Right. But not for me. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Nice. Next. Last question. What's the most interesting conversation you've ever had with a taxi driver? Well, for me, I guess is that um, this taxi driver shared to me about his aspiration about he is actually he's actually doing his uh, uh like he he has a shoe shop where he does the helping people to correct their posture in terms of using true using shoes mm-hmm. so they will create shoes, specialized shoes that help them to uh, have a proper posture. So regarding that, uh, he was sharing to me about his business and everything. And then I was like, wow, okay, I was, I was listening and I was a bit amazed. He, he, uh, if I'm wrong, he's a grab driver. Like he was hitching me on the way back. So he was sharing to me and then uh, and I, I, I encouraged him to look at certain areas because what he did was the shoes were mainly for more of like Casual shoes, but I did mention to him about more of the using sports shoe like to correct people's posture because running itself is very important. To if you run with a bad posture, you will also affect your whole body posture. So yeah, it, it was quite it was quite a very, it was a very deep conversation, but ultimately I felt that 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 conversation was quite interesting because more about sharing his business plan kind of thing. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. So he was sharing about his business, like his shoes business. Yeah, shoes business. Oh, it's quite interesting. Have you ever tried out the shoes? No, no. Oh. Uh, I yeah. It may be good for you. Maybe you should try it out. Uh, because the shoes itself, uh, they have limited shoes that I can use choose from. Oh. So those shoes, and they are they are not my kind of shoes. Oh, how come? But they can like you know help you correct your posture and things like this. <coughs> I think regarding that, uh, I don't think I need to correct my posture. Oh, so you think your posture is very good? Yeah. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you. You have so much confidence in yourself. Yeah. That's so amazing. Yeah, of mm. course. Okay, great. Yeah, you you are very compassionate. You know, you want to help people. And uh, wow, I I really very amazed at your big heart. You know, I I can. I can learn I can learn a lot from you. Well, I can learn a lot from you too. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, thank you for this conversation. I think uh it was a good time talking to you. Yes. We yeah. finished the cards. So now yeah, we have finished the cards. Where are we are we supposed to? Oh, is it next is like the free talk?
top. Yes, now it's a free free top. Okay. You want a break? Or? Okay. Okay. Let's, let's have a break. Okay, let's have a five minutes break. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, I knew that. So now uh, we are here, the third segment, where we will be talking about free top topics prompts. Yes. So, the first question that I'm going to ask you okay. is, with, is with regards to student and education. Okay. Okay. So now, what do you think... Uh, Share me more. Share me. Share to me more about your opinion. You know, with regards to you know students and education in the areas of like maybe CCA hmm. exams and uh, regarding the university courses that you are at now. What is difficult or easy or interesting or enjoyable hmm. that you find? Okay. Yeah. So you say CCA uni and exams, right? Yeah. CCA, mm, I think that right, now that I'm in like uni, I realise that CCA is very important. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like it's something that, like, for example, you know, you do it outside of your, like, like studies. Yeah. So, like, it's not really studying, but it's really, like, what you are interested in, mm-hmm. like, what you like doing. Okay. Like, you know, some people like sports, so they join, like, sports CCA. I think all these are very important. It's like, it's like, how to say, like, it gives you, like, a more holistic mm-hmm. development. Wow. Yeah, so you grow... Like, like, you grow to be, like, more well-rounded. Wow. Yeah, so, like, and it's something for you to, like, like, relieve the stress, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, when you go CCA, like, for example, you, you go sports. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't go and study. Yeah. You go and, like, play. You uh-huh. go and have fun. Yeah. And, like, CCA is, like, a place where you can, uh, I feel, build up your portfolio. Mm. Because, like, hmm... Like, there are opportunities for you to take, like, leadership positions. Like, mm. for example, CCA, you can, like, be a captain yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. I guess all this, like, it really helps you to grow. And it, of course, it helps you to forge, like, strong bonds among you and your CCA friends. That's nice. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah, you know, you make connections all around. So, what CCA do you join? Um. <coughs> Okay, so I joined like so right now in uni, right? Cause I'm currently my third year of study and I'm I don't have any CCA in this year. Oh. Yeah. Previously. Okay, so like actually um in like my year one and year two, oh, nice. I joined like a CCA called like Welfare Services Club. Wow. Do you hear of that before? Yeah, it seems like a, a club that provides that welfare before? services. Oh, sorry? Did you join before? Uh, yeah, I, I, I joined W Welfare Service Club also. Oh, you also, so you heard of it. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I joined like, I joined like, I joined, like oh, there's like, so right, there are a lot of sub clubs and portfolios under it. Mm. So I joined like, um, Friends of Children. Wow. And like, Volunteer Management. Wow. Yeah, what do you join? Ah, uh, I joined, uh, Regular service project for intellectually disabled. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, so what mm. do you do in uh, Friends of Children? Mm. Okay, so Friends of Children, right? Oh, basically, right, what I did mainly was actually to 
(um) okay so my target group is actually like kindergarten stu~ (uh) children so like K one and K two so what I did was mainly like every week we go to like the community centre then the kids will go there as well and then like (err) we will like tell stories to the kids basically help them to read also ya help them to read and learn like new words and also I guess like because like they are like (err) under privileged children so I guess the interaction is very important for them ya and besides we also like teach them how to like read and write so basically we have like for example like activity books so every week we will teach them like different activities like this week maybe like it's about like drawing ya so every week is going to be different like there are origami there are drawings there are like writings ya I think it's very interesting to see them grow ya but they are actually very noisy so every week is actually very tiring cause they will run around ya they like to tell you they want to go to the toilet but actually they just want to go out and run ya ya that's children I guess ya so what so the same question is okay so you mentioned about C_C_A so how about exams or like the courses exams [ah] (mm) what what do you mean what about exams like (err) like regarding student education like what do you think about having exams in school like how is it how is it like for you I think having exams in school is is a very tiring and very stressful thing yes exams because when it comes to exams I think everyone (ppl) have their own expectations ya of themselves and other people have expectations for them as well so exam period is a very stressful period because everyone wants to do their best and like get good results so how do you cope with exam examinations how do I cope with stress I just have to get it over and done with I guess ya because I feel that even though exams is like it's very stressful but I guess it is really it is sort of needed because it helps us to gauge where we are at and it helps us to learn in a sense because honestly if I think if there's no exams like a lot of students they may not really study and may not really remember I think there's different points of view so some people think that oh exams they make students more stress so maybe they make the students lose their interest in studying which I think is true as well ya okay how about things that you enjoy or you find it is difficult or interesting or easy in your course (mm) my course [oh] I think okay so I'm in the course of like biological sciences so I feel that it's really interesting for me to learn about bio to learn about like the human body and what affects us like for example like virus ya I think this is really the area which I'm interested in ya that's why like I came to the course instead of like like math or like humanities ya this is what like interest me but I feel that it's more relatable because like you know we are human ya and we learn about things that affect us ya but it's not always easy I guess ya there are stuff that are like difficult there are stuff that I'm like not good at stuff that like I don't like ya you mind giving some examples? (mm) like for example right I'm really bad at physics ya but there's like I remember there's this course in like my first year of study so like there's like physics involved in it and I'm just like wow what is this I don't understand anything ya so you you are you are not good you are you are not very good at math kind of thing ya I'm not very good at math kind of thing right same high five man wow that's good ya so what are you good at? your turn oh (uh) I'm good at science oh okay Particularly more towards the bio. Oh, okay. It requires Same. memory. Oh, wow. So yeah. your memory is very good. Yeah, my memory is uh, pretty good. Wow. I guess. So you must have good grades in school. 
Uh, I would say it's average. Oh, yeah. you sure? Yeah, it's average. But you say your memory was very good. Memory good doesn't mean your grades oh, are fantastic. That's true. Fantastic. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So you are only good at like remembering stuff, but you are not good at application. Uh, in terms of application, I am actually not mm. not too bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. if you are not too bad at everything, then why? I think uh, as a person, you need to be humble. Oh, yeah. so you are trying to say actually you are very good. No, actually, actually I did. <laughs> but you are trying to be humble. I did pretty okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So talk about your CCA. Just now you mentioned um, what um intellectually disabled. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, go on. What do you like about them? I joined that CCA is mm-hmm. because I want to help um people that are with intellectual disab- disabilities because they when I help them I, I cannot expect anything from them mm-hmm. so with that that will help me in my le- learning to give without expecting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so that's why that's why I joined the CCA so overall it has been quite okay for me okay in terms of like because it's a every week kind of thing mm-hmm. so we have different programs for them Okay. So, so far, I, I've been quite close with my um, beneficiary. Mm-hmm. And recently, last week, when I went back, because I haven't went back for like one, two months. Oh, how come? Yeah, because I was very busy with school work. Oh, yeah. okay. And, and then my trainee, oh, I, I'm very surprised because every week, the last time when I go with my trainee, he, he doesn't really uh, speak to me and when, when, and when, when the person asks who is your mm. teacher, then he will anyhow point other people. Oh. But yesterday when uh the on the last Saturday when I went mm-hmm. he when the person asked who's your teacher and he immediately pointed to me. Oh, and I was okay. a bit surprised because two months uh, we haven't been in contact but mm. he still remember. I guess he really miss you misses you during yeah. that two months. And he yeah. shared to me I was quite surprised he was sharing mm. to me about his auntie is sick at home. Mm. Which I was a bit surprised because he doesn't really speak a lot. Wow. And yeah, and he share about uh, his parents fetching him at five pm or something, and I was a bit like wow, I was a bit surprised. And he 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 told me that he wanted this song, you know, this song is about black and white, and then he wanted that song so badly. Then he told me sing black and white, black and white. I was like wow, <laughs> like like I don't know. I just felt that hey, um, I felt like I could understand him a bit more. And when he said black and white, I I started to think why does he like that song. Mm. And I, I begin to find out that because in that song there's an action that is more of like a basketball action mm-hmm. and he likes to play basketball. Oh, so okay. I begin, I begin to find the link and actually the volunteers that they themselves they didn't they didn't know that mm-hmm. he likes this song. Oh. But it was that, that moment where after two months that I see mm. him, I did not see him and we begin to know more about which 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 is quite heartwarming. Okay. Yeah, he's he's, he's actually my second uh Beneficiary. Mm-hmm. I had my first beneficiary uh, back then before I moved to the second one because uh, due to schedule uh, changes, I couldn't make it for the the one that's in the afternoon, which was where my first beneficiary's be- beneficiary was okay. at. Yeah, so for my first beneficiary, he couldn't talk, but he, he he's quite very sweet. He's, he's considered high functioning, so he could... Um, like the time when I told him, uh, when I told him to, so we had always we have this sing along so where people would come to the stage, and when he, when when I when he saw me on stage, I actually used my hand gesture to ask him to come over, mm-hmm. and he he just suddenly come over, Ooh. and I was very hard. Okay. My 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 heart melt. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I think that. Wow, your bennies like they really open up to you. Yeah. And I think it's a very good thing. Mm. Like I guess after you volunteer you realise that when you see that you have made a difference, yeah. It's very important to you. I yeah, agree. It's very important to see that they are happy. Yeah. Mm. So okay. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I guess we have a very interesting experience in school. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, now you you know you were mentioning about you uh helping kids you know mm. 
So, uh, just just curious, do you want to have kids in the future? Of course! Oh! Kids are my life! Oh, kids are your life! Yeah, nice! I think I really love kids a lot. Like, yeah. even though I cannot deny that they are really like... They are really mischievous sometimes. Yeah. And then sometimes I... Because I have a younger brother. Uh-huh. So sometimes when I see my younger brother... Honestly speaking, it makes me like... Don't feel like having kids because like... You know, it's really, he's really like mischievous. And he doesn't study. Mm. Yeah, so my brother is like in secondary school now. Wow. Secondary one? Yeah, secondary one. Nice. He plays game every day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. But I guess like, okay. My mom like, she didn't really control him. Mm. So I guess this is where I'm learning as well. Yeah. Like, it's important to control him I guess mm-hmm. even though he's at a like rebellious stage mm-hmm. yeah so yes I do still want to have kids right and yeah I will teach them well oh yeah. that's nice so which school do you want your child to enroll in mm, honestly which school do I want my child to enroll in honestly for like primary school yeah I hope that they will just like enroll in somewhere near the house mm-hmm. yeah because i guess the first six years of their life of their school life like mm-hmm. like they shouldn't have to travel a lot because i know that traveling is actually very tiring mm. yeah so i guess somewhere near the house will be very good like right. really good enough right yeah as well like like secondary school and like after that mm. i guess it's really like up to them to choose Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, I feel that they should have a choice, like they should be able to make the decisions for themselves. Right. Yeah, it's a part of the growing up process. I agree. What about you? Oh, uh, yeah. for me? Because mm, you mentioned that you wanted to have kids too, right? Yeah, in the yeah. future. Uh... What about it? Uh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, what school would you like your child to enroll into? I think, I think it will seem, seem like yours. Oh. Yeah, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere near, near our, somewhere near my house area, so okay. that it will be convenient. Okay. So that mm. also it will be easier for my child to come back. Mm, I'll, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd rather, I'll, I'll, I'll want my child to learn how to come back by himself. Mm. Yeah, and... Yeah. And child are adorable. Okay. And they, uh-huh. yeah. But I guess that right now I'm not. I'm still not ready to settle down yet. So I, I, I'm probably one child is one child is okay. I oh, guess. so you only want to have one child in future. One or two. Oh, would yeah. you rather it like? Would you like prefer like a daughter or a son or like you don't have any preference at all? A son first, then oh. a daughter. Wait, I thought you said you only want to have one child. If. <gasps> I mean one or two. Oh, one or two. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, some first. If uh, very very lucky, then then a son, and, then a daughter. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Great. So, what do you think about CCA? We want your child to join CCA. Oh, of course. Like what I've said just now, I think CCA is like like <laughs> it helps you grow to be a more well-rounded person, well-rounded individual. Oh. Yeah, really. I think CC is very important and like, you know, like, um, it lets them have fun, I guess. Like, it enables them to have fun outside of, like, schoolwork. And also, like, right. it's important to make new friends mm-hmm. whom they can, like, um, grow together with and learn together with. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay, next. Oh, um, would you, like, like next time, like when you have children, would you like send them for tu- tuition and enrichment classes? Uh, for me, it depends. I guess when it comes to enrichment classes, I would send them more. I would probably initially I'll send them for quite a few enrichment classes, and I want to see where where their interest will be at. Mm-hmm. And from there, from their interest, I'll try and build on their interest by sending them to those classes that will help them to develop this interest okay. and help them to grow. Mm-hmm. Regarding tuition, I I think it really depends. Um, ultimately, if 
with the support from me and my wife and also from the school if that itself is insufficient then I will want my child to go for tuition okay. but it's not the priority okay. yeah. Mm, interesting yeah yeah um so how about you would you want your child to go for tuition mm, I guess it really depends on like mm, how they are doing in school mm. let's just say if I think that they are doing at a reasonable and acceptable level yeah. then I think tuition is redundant mm. I feel that there's no need to give them extra stress going for tuition mm. Mm, they can study at home by yeah. themselves yeah without tuition right yeah unless like let's just say they are really doing badly in school and like they don't understand what the teacher is saying mm. then I guess tuition will help them yeah it's like another avenue for them to like learn I yeah. see yes nice so what kind of CCA mm. will you encourage your child to join I think mm. do you think that's good I think it's good to join sports CCA mm. Mm. I think Personally, right, I I am not really a sports person. Oh, why not? Yeah, because like, <laughs> I get tired very easily. Oh. Yeah, like, I don't have a good stamina. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why. So like, so I guess like, I would encourage them to join sports like, I guess it's also to keep them healthy, like, you know, a lot of people say you have to exercise, yeah, yeah. I guess it's important for them, but of course I will let them choose as well, nice. yeah. and like, probably when they go to university, like me, I hope that, like, they join something like volunteering, oh. I feel that I've learned a lot, and I think it's good for them to learn as well, nice, mm, yes. Oh, will you go for parent teacher meetings? Yes, I will. I want to but be part. But you will be working. I will make time for it. I want to be part. I want to know my child's progress. Because I think that parenting itself is a role that it cannot parenting is a role that it cannot be neglected. Mm. And I want to be part with my child. And uh, I want to be involved. I want to know how is my child like in school and from then on I want to know how can I help the child. Because uh, I guess for me is that I had the I have the experience of knowing how it is like without a uh, proper parental support. Not because that my parents they did not support me, but rather because my parents have been always working, and so I'm always left alone. And being the only child, I can get to all sorts of fun things. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, a very adventurous person. Okay. Yeah, so uh but I know how but I know what how important it's like to have mm. parental support. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Interesting. Yeah. So how about you? Will you be involved in parenting? Of course. Oh. Mm. I feel that as a parent it's important for me to know how my child is doing in school. Like sometimes like my child is not going to come home every day and tell me stuff. Like right. maybe like he doesn't get along well in school or he doesn't understand certain things. Okay. Like he's not going to tell me. Mm-hmm. So I guess parent teacher meeting is a good um platform for me to know more about how my child is doing in school. Mm. Yeah. I think it's important for a parent to be concerned and to be kept updated mm. about the child's progress. I agree. Yeah. Like um, Education is not only the teacher's responsibility. Mm-hmm. I feel that the parent plays a very critical role as well. Agree. Mm. So, now apart from work, mm. what do you think about, like how about holiday, how do you spend your holiday? How do I spend my holidays? Like, uh, where have you travelled to? Mm. Yeah, okay. and, and what do you Actually, like to eat all this? Mm. Actually, for me, right, for me, right, I don't really like um, travel a lot to like um foreign country. Oh. Okay. Because for me, right, my family they don't like to travel. Oh. Yeah, they like to stay in Singapore. Wow. Yeah, so like I don't really travel as well. 
but I guess like (mm) sometimes I do travel to like nearby countries such as like malaysia with my friend ya we just go there to have fun and like I guess to really chill and relax because like you know it's a holiday like you don't have to like study you don't have to think about your school work ya I guess this is how I spend my holiday ya mainly I I spend time with my friends ya and we go out yes what about you do you go holidays often [oh] okay you go with your family (mm) okay [oh] !wow! (ppb) okay [oh] I realise you really like food a lot (mm) (mm) okay tell me about your australia trip how is it (mm) okay okay (mm) okay did you get a lot of gold okay okay !wow! that's so interesting I've never been to australia before ya the furthest (mm) !wow! I think the furthest is just like china ya I don't have an interesting travelling experience (mm) I went to like #shanghai# no no I went with my friend ya like it's like a school trip ya no in primary school ya ya yes (mm) actually right I cannot really remember but I guess like (ppo) it's really just sightseeing I guess ya like sightseeing like we get to like walk around learn about like the heritage and culture and like like just shopping ya no it wasn't cold at that time it wasn't like winter !woo! I like audi (ppl) you know got the four circle [oh] my god (ppb) so nice their cars are really 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 nice ya of course I'm going to drive (ppl) ya I'm going to drive one next time ya I need to earn a lot of money to get myself a car ya I think so expensive but it's so nice what colour (mm) honestly I have no idea but I guess I will get darker colours I feel that it's like (um) (ppo) like like I wouldn't want to get like white or something like that because like it gets dirty very easily ya so I would like to get darker colours ya what about you what cars do you like
That's a very good question. I think. Uh, probably BMW. Oh yeah. wow! Because BMW is more family friendly, I guess. Oh okay. So yeah, yeah, I'll prefer BMW. Okay. Yeah and. Yeah, I'm quite a simple per- I'm quite a simple person. Oh. As long as the car got four wheels, I'm okay. Yeah. Every car has four wheels. Hello. Yeah. So as you whichever brand it is, as long oh. as it's uh, have four wheels okay. comfortable. Mm, that's so all. you don't really like have a preference. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, horsepower all this not really, doesn't really matter to me. Oh. Yeah. I guess in Singapore, like, even if the horsepower is very good, it's like, not very needed because Singapore is a very small place. Yeah. And there are a lot of cars around. There's a lot of traffic yeah. too. Mm. Yeah. So... Do you know how to drive, actually? Oh, me? Yeah. No, I don't know how to drive, though. Oh, you don't know how to yeah. drive? So how... you're going to get a license next time. Probably. <coughs> How about you? No, actually, I, I, I don't have a license right now, so... Oh, yeah. are you going to take license soon? Yeah, uh, I guess I will probably take it after I graduate. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's pretty late. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I want to... I want to learn when, like, you know, like... When I have the ability to get a car. I see. Because uh, sometimes like, people learn very early. But mm. they don't, like, for example, they don't have a car, so they can't really drive. Mm-hmm. And I feel that for me, after a while, if I don't like drive, after mm-hmm. a while, I will just like forget how to drive and like be yeah. scared. Yeah, so I think there's no point in me like learning does a family very dri- early. But does your family d- drive to a car? Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah. So are you going to uh, use their car to drive? Um, I guess not. My mom will scold me if I like get into a car accident and destroy the car. Oh, so yeah. your mom don't, don't trust you? Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Yeah, so they always ask me not to drive because I I will be scared and uh, I will be a bad driver. Uh, and they always say like, oh, if there's like a cockroach on the in the car, you're going to stop the car in the middle of the road. Right. Yeah. So, so the car is your mom's? No, it's my dad. Oh. Yeah, right. my mom, um, I think she said she has the license, but she doesn't dare to drive. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't drive at all. She's too scared. Understand. Yeah. So she's scared that you are you're like her. I yeah I guess so. I see. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Now for. Okay, you were mentioning that you don't like to exercise. Yeah, I don't. But have you ever been to any sports facilities? Oh yes, I've been to the gym before. Oh. Mm, like I don't like to exercise, but sometimes I do make it a point to exercise. Right. Yeah. Not because I like it, but because I feel that I need it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know they say it's important to have a healthy lifestyle. I wouldn't say I like. I wouldn't say I go to the gym every single day, <laughs> but I go once in a while when I really have the time. Yeah. So, so which gym do you go to? Oh, I go to my school gym. Nice. Yeah. Then if like I'm not in school, like I will run around like my neighborhood. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh, that's very that's very yeah. very healthy. Mm. You want like you... it's not like a very regular thing. Like, I don't run every day, but sometimes I do. You run once a week. Mm, not really. Once a month. <laughs> Maybe about there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Nice. What about you? Do you like sports? Yeah, I love sports. Oh, really? So what kind of sports do you enjoy? I like to play any ball games. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Basketball? Basketball, soccer, badminton. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I didn't really try tennis, so, but... Okay. Yeah, but... Mm. I like to play quite a lot of things. Mm. Yeah, because when I was young, I like to play a lot of... Uh, oh, all these kind of games. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm, all, I'm a very active kid. Oh yeah, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, when I was younger. Mm. Yeah, so... So you always play with your friends? Yeah, but nowadays... Uh, I, I do go gym with my friends. I think that was last month. Mm, okay. Or earlier this month, yeah. So... I do run also with my friends. Mm-hmm. Also earlier this month. Okay. Yeah. It's like a in-school kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. You get to spend quality time with your friends and you get to be healthy. 
Yeah, I agree. So yeah. I use one stone to kill two birds. Great. Yeah. yeah. Nice analogy. Hey, thank you so much. So what are your hobbies? What do you like to do during your free time? Me, I, I'm a very boring person. Yeah. So I, I like to read books. Right. Mm. Oh yeah, read books. What yeah, kind of books you read? Oh, I like to read. Uh, I like to read romance novels. Wow, you're yeah. a very romantic person. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. I think reading a book makes me very happy. Like sometimes I feel that I can. Like I feel that the book affects me. Yeah. yeah I guess that's when it's a good book. Yeah. So do you like Twilight? No, I don't like Twilight. Oh why? It's a romance though. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not really interested in that. Oh. Yeah, what, I've what? never read that actually. Oh, so what kind of romance book have you read before? Oh, uh, what kind of romance books? Yeah. Oh, do you have you heard of the author Nicholas Sparks? Mm, quite familiar. Oh, I, oh, familiar? Do you read them before? Uh, Nicholas Sparks I heard before about oh. author. Uh, yeah. quite famous author. Okay, can you but tell me a few of his books? Uh, I can't remember the title, but I, I do know that he writes a romance book. But oh. what, can you tell me more about it, though? Oh, I really love his books. Like, like it's really nice and interesting. Uh huh. And like, mm, I I I I read when I have the time. Like for example, during like holidays. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Mm, yeah. 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 You re- so you read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read it during holidays. So what's the synopsis about? What is the- oh, okay. Because like, they have like a lot of different books. Yeah. That are like... They have a lot of different... Uh, he has a lot... He, he has written a lot of different books. And like... Yeah. I, I, I really like it. Like, it's like... Sometimes it's about... Because it's romance, right? Mm-hmm. So sometimes like, there's like family involved. Mm-hmm. On like children involved. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh-huh. so it was like more of like the family don't allow the child to marry this guy. Something. Not really. Eh. Usually it's about like for example like, um, this like couple maybe like, they um they like, have some like, like um obstacles or troubles right but i like how like it always end up ends up in a happy ending oh yeah so in the end the girl and the guy got together yes nice yeah that's awesome what about you do you like to read books no i i don't like to read books i hate reading books so what do you do as your hobby like in your free time uh i like to talk to people i like to get to know more about people so you're talkative yeah i'm very talkative and i like to hang out with friends okay so uh, I like to spend time with them, I like to um, get to know more about them, mm, okay. help them, yeah, so that is my hobby. Wow. Yeah, I'm a Wait, so your hobby is just talking? Talking, helping, you know, getting to know more about people. Okay, that's very interesting. Yeah, I'm a very extrovert person. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, this this this, this is the part of my hobby that I find it very fulfilling. Okay. Very engaging. Mm. Okay, but do you like to like do anything? Like you know you, like for example like um shopping, watching movies, um you I, know. I I I don't mind I don't mind those. Is is it something that I can live? Without. As, as it's something that I can uh, that I will do it once in a while. Okay. Yeah, but not every time. Oh okay okay. But the more prominent ones are. Talking. Yeah, prominent. Mm. Seems like we really talk a lot. Yeah. Maybe you should go into the field of like counseling. You know, you get to talk every day. Hmm. Probably. Do you feel that you're counselled now? Not really. Oh. Yeah. I see. Mm. No, Maybe you will need. You still need. Uh, there's still room for improvement. Yeah. yeah. Everyone is an improvement. Yeah, of course. Yeah. By the way, that was a joke. By the way, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Now, what is your What's the best and the most memorable meal that you had? And where do you have it? The best or most memorable meal that I had? Yeah. Nice. 
[lah] it can be like [oh] (err) you like this (err) 海底捞:hai di lao food [lah] or the chicken rice [ah] or the #char kway teow# hokkien #mee# like what kind of food you know that really ya you love it so much that you want to have it again [oh] like barbecue food korean [one] or nice !wow! okay (mm) I see I see so what kind of barbecue food you like chicken more of the chicken or whichever [oh] you like chicken like (err) you like barbecue food but is there any pref~ seafood [oh] okay [oh] you like pork nice do you eat oysters [oh] salmon you like salmon raw [oh] okay [oh] I love it with s~ raw sa~ salmon with (err) mayonnaise mayonnaise (err) I I I don't really read too much about salmonella but I only know about salmon which is !whoa! is nice [ah] yes I think (err) (ppo) whatever that my stomach thinks is stronger than what my mind thinks ya so my craving is and my desire is more is much more stronger than my what my mind thinks ya [oh] sushi I love it yeah ya ya talking about it makes me so hungry really really hungry !wow! with the soya sauce and everything !wah! it's really (ppo) [nah] a bit a bit only but not really ya I will choke on #wasabi# ya (err) my neighbourhood is very famous for #rojak# ya in woodlands it's very famous for #rojak# ya but I'm not a very #rojak# lover but I think it's okay [lah] it's pretty it's pretty 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 okay ya not bad (err) ya my mum buys it quite a few times ya before ya she's very close friend with the #rojak# aunty ya we are very friendly and outspoken and very ya very open ya ya yes they have chicken rice (err) but (err) it's it's still pretty alright but but the 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 person always give me (err) wan~ extra #wanton# ya and and (err) today I when I buy from him he actually charge me two dollar instead of like three dollar and he gave me like egg drumstick (err) roasted drumstick and three #wanton# ya I I'm not too sure ya pretty nice ya in fact my school there's this aunty ya she she also give me quite cheap also three dollar ya egg egg and rice and ya I guess it's (err) I think I'm cause I'm pretty friendly so I guess ya probably like me I'm not too sure about that but usually I will not (ppo) I will try not to go too much too often to the stores cause I don't want them to lose too much profit ya considerate right totally agree with you ya so have you (um) how about movies you know
Yeah, what 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 are the movies that have you watched? Oh, actually, I I really like to watch movies. So like, I watch movies very <laughs> often. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Oh, let's just say the most recent movie that I watched is probably Johnny English. Whoa, Johnny yeah, English. Yeah, that's the most recent one that I've watched. Have you watched it? No. Oh, you should go and watch it soon. Yes. Mm. I so think. like, it's it's a very interesting and funny movie, I guess. Yeah. Like, I think the main thing about this it is it's very funny. Yeah. How will you rate it? How will I rate it? Mm, 4 out of 5? Wow, that's quite a high rating. Yeah, it's really not bad. Mm. Is there a lot of actions? Um, a lot of actions. I wouldn't say a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't say there are a lot of actions. But it's really full of like humorous stuff. I see. Mm, I guess. It's a nice movie to go to. Mm. Oh, and recently I watched a musical. Oh, it's nice. called Peter and the Star Catch Up. Wow. Yeah. What is it about? It's about oh, it's like a prelude to Peter Pan. Wow. Yeah. Peter and the Star Catch Up. Yeah, Peter and the Star Catch Up. So Peter caught the star. No. <laughs> so, oh. um, so basically, the uh, the the musical is mainly about there's this like, um, girl. Right. So she wants to be a star catcher. Okay. So her dad is a star catcher. I see. And then like she's like an apprentice at the start. Mm-hmm. So yeah. after that, it's mainly about like uh, she goes through all the like challenges okay. and stuff. And in the end she managed to help her father. Okay. And like in the end she managed to become a real star catcher. I see. And then Peter is another boy. Uh he was a very lonely boy. Wow. Yeah, so he doesn't have friends, like he doesn't talk to people because he was an orphan. So oh. I guess it really had an impact on him. That's why he doesn't like to talk to people. And he feels that people don't care about him. Okay. But then the star catcher, she cared about him. Mm. And I guess uh, in the end they got really close. Yeah. So and the, became friends. So is the star catcher a girl? Yeah, the star catcher is a girl. Did they get together? Uh, no, they didn't like get together, but they are good friends. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a nice musical. Like I haven't watched a musical for a very long time. Nice. Yeah, so I guess it's really nice, and yeah, we'll go watch again when there are new musicals. Nice. Mm. So you went with your boyfriend? No, I went with my friend. Oh. Mm. It's actually part of a project. I see. Yeah, so we have to yeah, so we have to go and watch a musical and oh. like like learn from it and critique it. I guess. Yeah. Oh, it mm. was a uni project? Yeah, it's my uni project. Oh, uh, we, 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 it was under which uh, uh, it's module? It's uh, Introduction to Modern Jazz Dance. Oh, yeah. so you have to pay for it? Yeah, of course we have to pay for the musical. The mu- yeah. How much is the musical? The musical... Uh, I think I paid like 30 plus dollars. Mm, there are, there are uh, actually a range of like different seats and different prices of. I mm, see. Yeah. How long was the musical? How long was the, the musical was about two and a half hours. Mm. Mm. It's really interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. You should go and watch it too. I think they, they, they are still showing it. Ah. Yeah, they are still showing it. Yeah, I'll probably go and uh, think about it. Mm, yeah, th- okay, but th- sure, thank you for sure. the suggestion. Maybe okay. uh, after this session, you can... Okay. Let me know about more about oh, it. Oh, Adrian Pang start in it. Oh, Adrian Pang, yeah, nice. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that his son start in it too, and his wife is a director of oh, the. Adrian Pang's show. son. Son, how old is his son? Uh, actually, I'm not. I'm not very sure. Oh. But his son, uh, was like the Peter in the in the musical. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I see. Hmm. I see. Yeah. So is the star catcher the daughter? No. Oh. No, no. Okay. I don't think he has a... I'm not sure whether he has a daughter, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice, nice. Do you like musicals or movies? Uh, I, have, I, I haven't really been to a musical. Oh, okay. Yeah, but movies-wise, I really like action-packed oh, musicals. Action. Oh, yeah, sorry, like... action-packed <laughs> movie. Okay. Yeah. Do you like, like horror movies? Ah, uh, no. Horror like... is not my kind of thing. I know, right? Yeah. So scary. It's, uh, you... <laughs> It's not worth to get pay, yourself scared. <laughs> yeah, to pay money to get yourself scared. Okay. So I like more of the like thriller, all those. 
Uh, like Avengers. Oh, okay. I like comedy also, like Johnny Ooh, English. Wow. Yeah, I like Ip Man. I like uh, Justice League. I like. Mm. Uh, I mean the Chinese show, the fighting movie kind of thing, but not too not too old. Oh, kind, okay, okay. Uh, kung fu, kung fu, I really oh, like it. okay, okay. Yeah. I think those are really interesting too. Yeah. Mm. Because I'm, uh, I'm pretty adventurous, so mm. like, I like this kind of mm. movies. Okay, okay. Wow. Yeah. That's quite interesting to know. Thank you, mm. thank you. What about like TV shows or dramas? Do you like to watch them? I haven't been watching TV for a long, long time because of my hectic schedule in uni. But um, I did watch this drama that I love it so much. Uh, it was called City Hunter. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I've heard of it before. Yeah, it's really, really nice. The, the guy, he he can just, just beat all the bad guys, one man show. Oh, and, yeah. wow, yeah. seems like you really like action, yeah. yeah. And there was one part he used a bottle and whack, he used a plastic bottle and whack the, the person. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, wow. So it's quite, quite okay. interesting. Interesting, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? How about me? Yeah. Mm, I, I, um, I like same as you. I don't really watch television. Okay. Yeah, because of like you know the schoolwork we have to study and do homework. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, oh, I think like the previously I watched this like um Korean drama. Yeah. It's called Descendants of the Sun. Oi, yeah, wow. the, the male the male lead character is so good looking. And we fell in love? Yeah, of course. Nice. He's going to be my husband kidding. Oh. He's married already. Oh that's Yeah, I'm that's, so sad. That's pretty yeah. yeah. Mm, but yeah, he's really quite Oh um, yeah. Yeah, he's he's good looking and I I, I really like the show. Yeah, the female is very pretty as well. Yeah. Nice. Interesting plot. Yeah. So what's the plot about? Mm. Oh, so the female lead, right? She was she's a doctor. Yep. Then the male, she he's like a soldier. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah, like he goes and fight and stuff. Oh, there was war? Yeah, yeah. And like, oh. yeah, there was like a period of time like he, he sort of like went missing and everyone thought he was dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the female was very, very, very sad. Mm. But in the end, like, he came back. Huh? So, what, what, yeah. what, 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 so basically, he didn't die. He just got captured. By? By like, like the other party. Japanese? No, 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 no it's not. Um, I'm not very sure. But how yeah. did he escape? Oh, he escaped because someone helped him. Like previously, he helped some, he helped the person before. Mm-hmm. So I guess the person really like like want to repay him for his gratitude. So the person was the enemy last time. Um, no. Um, no. Oh. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah, it's very nice. How many episodes though? Are they in the Not drama? a lot, I guess. Oh. Yeah, twenty, twenty plus. Yeah. Oh, so lot. one one episode is like twenty minutes. No lah, one episode like I don't want one hour plus. What is I guess. Very long, wow. Yeah, usually it's like this. I see, I see. Mm. So do you do uh, any painting or drawing? Oh, actually, I'm very, very, very bad at art, so I can't draw. Oh, high five. Yeah, my drawing is hor- horrendous. Yeah, right. You wouldn't want to see it. It's like primary school, maybe even worse than primary school. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't draw. I see, I see. But I do like to paint, even though I don't really do it a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like freestyle kind of painting? Or must it be painting an object? I guess I just like paints. Oh, okay. Yeah, because like I've said, I'm not good at art. Mm. So like, I don't really do it well. Mm. But painting makes me happy to mm. see the colours. I see, I see. Mm. How about shopping, you know? Oh, I love to shop. Oh, nice. Yes, I love to buy clothes. Yeah. What kind of clothes do you, you, do you usually buy? Oh, do you mean by what kind of clothes? Like, I mean, give me like... 
blouse, you know, kind oh, of thing. Um, I guess like actually, you preferred to buy I, I don't have any preference. I really just buy things that I like, I guess. Like if I see that it's nice, then mm. I will want to get it. Yeah. How about food? Food? Mm, do you do you buy a lot of uh, food along the way? Mm, I spend on food sometimes too. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. But you will spend more on shopping rather than food. Mm, I guess it really depends actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really depends. Like even though I like shopping, it's not like I go shopping every day or every week. Yeah. Yeah. Like I really go when I have the time and like it's not that I definitely have to buy something. I see, yeah. I see. If I really like it then I will buy it. Mm. Yeah, but as for food I guess everyone needs to eat. Mm. Mm. So no matter what you have to spend on food. Mm. Mm. Yes. I see. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, oh do you like uh, game a lot? Do you play a lot of games? Yeah, I, I do play a lot of games. I oh. play a lot of mobile games. Oh, like, like what kind? Uh, I, I play Maple Story M, oh, but I quit Oh, okay. Yeah. I know, I'm currently playing Mobile Legends, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I've heard that before. Oh. Yeah, some of my friends play that too. Have you tried it before? No, I, I, I haven't tried it. Like, oh. actually, I'm not very interested in gaming. I see, yeah. I see. But it looks interesting sometimes, and I'm not good at gaming. Oh, maybe you can yeah. try one time. Maybe, yeah. Uh, uh, what is it about, like? It's like shooting uh, or like what? shooting the towers and oh. like uh, defeating the enemies. Okay, yeah. I've always liked to shoot like enemies. Oh. But then somehow right the, the the I think my aiming skills are quite bad. So it's like I try to aim at the person, but it somehow goes somewhere else. I see. I yeah. see. Yeah. I guess uh practice makes perfect. <laughs> So, maybe, yeah. maybe I should try it, maybe right? Sh- maybe yeah. should try. I, I, I can guide you along. Oh, yeah. that's so nice of you. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for the conversation. I think I've gotten to know you better oh, now. Oh, me too. And uh, yeah, I hope that I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Okay. Okay, Thanks, thank you. Daniel. Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Stephanie.